The Lone Ranger. Shots, Tonto. Dan's the only one who knows our signal for trouble. Shots come from that way. Come on. We got your signal, Dan. Golly, I'm glad it worked. What happened here? It looked like him fall from pole, Kimasabi. Jiminy Cricket. I just saw him 20 minutes ago in town, live as rain. Right after I bought that 10 pounds of coffee you sent me in for. Where was he? Coming out of the express office, jumped on his horse and rode off in a big hurry. Morse code outfit, Kimusabi. Him must have been sending message when him fall from pole. Fall must have broken his neck. That's right. Why was he up there sending messages that way? Who is he? That man is Click Phillips, Dan. The slickest code operator in the country. And part of Juan Bronco's gang. Juan Bronco? Say, didn't he hold up for stagecoach just last week? The cafe in the bank? And kill five people? And that's right, Dan. Because of Bronco, we came down this way. If Phillips was in town, he must have found out when the gold shipment to the Cedar City Bank was to go through. The exact hour. I saw the stage leave myself. You think Phillips relay a message to Bronco gang somewhere on the road? If he did, the bank depositors can't afford to lose that money. They depend upon it to buy cattle for their spring drive. And what we do with Phillips? Leave him. We'll notify the sheriff later. Bronco is somewhere between here and Cedar City. We've got to reach him before that stage does. Come on. Now we're waiting in this rotten sun. Hey, Warren. Huh? You sure Phillips gave you the right time and a telegraph message when we tapped the wire? My friend, why you worry? See, I got the message right. The stagecoach, it will be here. This is more important. Nothing's more important than getting that gold. Anyway, what happened to Phillips? He sure cut off all of a sudden. Who knows? Who knows? Ask him when we get back to the camp. You know what is the trouble with you, Blackie? Morning, morning, morning. Always you think of the mornings. Look at this little sweet bird. <laughs> she lose her nest. This sweet bird. I say I'm getting tired of you and your birds. You and your sunsets. What's so beautiful about them? Uh, and the women's? You don't like the women's either, huh? And the women's. Uh, everything is beautiful what is lovely to look at. And you'll not get tired, my friend. Only one man get tired in this outfit, and that is me. Or uh, maybe you'd like to make something of it, huh? Hey, one. Here comes your stagecoach. All right, everybody, on your horses. Well, my little angel. Now you have the business. Bronco's gang, Clint. Don't try nothing. Shut up. It's my stage. By Thunder Bronco, you ain't getting away with this. We have come to relieve you of your goal. I told him to keep quiet. You have a good head on your shoulders, my friend. See that you keep it there. Two of you, get the money. I will see the passengers. Ah, Buenos Dias. I'm the only passenger, if that's what you're worried about. So you talk up, eh? I like the beautiful women's what talk up to Juan Branco. Someday you'll regret the things that you've done. If you have conscience enough. Give me what money I have pronto. That's the only money I have in the world. It means continuing my ranch or losing it to the bank. It's my husband's insurance money. That is too bad. But you and your husband's loss is my gain, no? I have no husband anymore. I've just returned from, from taking him for burial in St. Louis. But I know what he'd do if he were here now. He'd blow your head off. <laughs> there are many who would like to do that, senora. So you are intrigued with my ring, no? I think it's grotesque. Gracias, senora. There are many who have told me so. 
He's a gold serpent holding in his mouth a real ruby. He's been in my family for generations. Juan, we're waiting. I will be with you pronto, amigo. Yes, senor. You take the ring. <laughs> but I will keep your money. Juan Blanco never steals from beautiful women without giving something in return. I don't want your ring. Ah, senor. <laughs> Adios, senor. You not try anything, senor, or you get the same like your friend. Cut! Shots came from that direction. We're not sure, if you must have it. Let's try it. Shotgun's dead in a micro, Miss Carver. Hey, look! Here comes the rest of them, that masked man. Get in the coach, ma'am, get in the coach. They might kill us both. Frank Bronco will get him before us. Going after the stage, Tonto. Then you wait here until we stop him. Come on. Just take it easy. I don't even have a gun. I'm not going to harm you, and we're not outlaws. Well, that mask says you are. Forget the mask. Did Juan Bronco and his men just hold you up? Well, I... Uh... Come on, mister. Talk fast. What do you mean, did you just hold us up? He stole $7,000 in gold and killed Shotgun here. If you're here checking up on him, don't let him hold out the $2,000 he stole from me. Have him divide everything fair and square with everyone, including this boy. You know, for a gang of killers, you certainly train your hoodlums young. I said we weren't outlaws. Here, you can take this and give it back to him, too. I don't want it. I wouldn't take it if it were worth a million dollars. Bronco give you this? Why don't you recognize it? It's supposed to be a family heirloom. He has quite a sense of whimsy, hasn't he? He probably stole it from some other poor, unfortunate person like myself. It's quite a title. A whimsical bandit. And this bit of whimsy in giving you this ring might be the thing that will catch him. What do you mean? I'd like to keep it, if you don't mind. I may find good use for it. I've already given it to you. Driver. Yeah? Which way was Bronco headed when he left you? Uh, toward Engine Mountain. You go right... Thanks. I know the territory. We'll probably meet again. Adios. Here's Bronco's ring, Tunnel. May come in handy. Me not understand. Bronco's headed for Indian Mountain. If he has a hideout there, he may have guards posted. This ring may be means of getting past them. Oh, that's right. Then you'd better stay out of this. Head for our old campsite at Cutler's Creek. All right. I'll get everything ready. Maybe you'll be back in time for dinner. Let's hope so. Kimasabi, trail end here. Me not understand. If Bonk could go to Indian Mountain... They didn't go to Indian Mountain, Tuttle. It's an old trick and we lost an hour by it. They probably backtracked to the same area we just left. Mm, but no trail. How we find them? They'll make a slip somewhere. Let's go. <laughs> you see? We pull them good. Oh. We ride out, we ride back. And we cover our trail good on the way back. Well, <laughs> so why are you worry? Because we're taking too many chances. I say we ought to go back to the hideout and eat there. What's the chances? So we stay close to Cedar City. <laughs> sure. The sheriff, he looked for us on Indian Mountain, because that is where the stage driver will tell him we rode off to. <laughs> mm, when a man hungry, he stopped to eat. Oh, <laughs> oh, a meal of good chicken make a man very happy. <laughs> I'm just a good cook. Yeah, I thought the chicken was tough. Uh, to you, Blackie, everything is tough. You got no love for nothing. 
Hey, look. Look at the blue sky. Mm, see the beautiful white clouds. Clouds? <laughs> ah, they are like little beds for angels. These are paintings, senores. And you, what do you see? You think maybe it's going to rain? <laughs> maybe you should have been a preacher. I'm not like that, senor. Be careful how you joke. Come on, we go back to the hideout. The men are waiting for us. Ah, uh, don't be sore, Juan. Who is sore? It's just that I'm not happy anymore. Hey, look, Juan. Mm. There's a rider coming up the trail from the direction of town. Looks like a boy to me. Yeah, that is the way it looks to me, too. Hey, would you take a look at that horse he's riding? Caramba. Such a beautiful beast. One seldom sees such one like that. Look, we're still ten miles from camp. Let's get going. I do not care about that. I am thinking perhaps I would like to own such a horse. Hey, come on, we talk to the machacho. Get the horses. Hi. 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 We make special trip to see such beautiful beast. Where'd you get it, kid? Shut up. I do the talking. How much you take for your horse, muchacho? I wouldn't sell Victor at any price. So you talk back to Juan Branco, eh? For one so young, he does not pay to be too smart. I would have bought your horse. Now I take it. You'll not take him. Don't get fresh. You think we not shoot him, eh? <laughs> you are wrong, amigo. Anyone interferes with Juan Branco, I do not hesitate to remove him. Get off the horse. No, I won't. <laughs> Put away the gun. <laughs> he's just a punk, but a spunky punk, no? <laughs> Very well. I take you off the horse, my little friend. Get down. Um. Caramba! Yeah. No, not yet, not yet. <laughs> We fix this little punk before we finish him off. Now we take him with us. <laughs> you make the fool of Juan Branco. For that, you'll be sorry. Soon I teach you how to have the proper respect. Put the hands out. <laughs> You'll not soon forget Juan Branco, my little friend. <laughs> What you find, Kimisami? Some of these tracks were made by Dan's horse. I can tell by the peculiar star marks from the shoes. This is the only trail Dan could have taken back to our camp. That's right, Kimisami. Dan had shoes special made. Strange, somebody tried to cover hoof prints with brush. Only an outlaw would do that, Tonto. One Bronco? Exactly. Come on. Small canyon through a narrow pass. Now that make good hidden camp for outlaws. Nowhere near Indian Mountain. We're miles in the opposite direction. What we do now? We'll circle around to the side. Let's get to the rim of that canyon and find out what's down there. Horse Kimasabi. Get back to Cedar City. Get some help and make it as fast as you can. And what do you do? I'll wait a bit. Then I'll try to get past the guards who must be somewhere down there. That'd be plenty risky. I'll have to take that risk. I'll get going and hurry. Oh! <laughs> so I win again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, I always win. <laughs> What's the matter? You think I cheat? <laughs> Juan Bronco don't got to cheat. <laughs> you talk big, Bronco, but you're nothing but a coward. What? What you say? What are you going to do with him? He can't have a fresh kid like this running around the camp. He will not be with us long. <laughs> now you know too much. See? If you sell me the horse, nothing happened. Now I don't know. 
Maybe you'll just disappear. You won't be able to ride my horse. Nobody can ride Victor unless he knows I want him to. We will see. Get the horse. We will tie him between the trees so he cannot move. And then, with the rawhide whip, I will teach him who is the master. Don't do that. I'll take the whipping. But don't mistreat Victor, please. And perhaps after we have broken his spirit with the whip, we will break yours the same way. Eh, hey, my little cucaracha? <laughs> That's a good idea. Who asked you? What you doing here? Go! Go! Get out! <laughs> Down off that horse and reach. We've been watching you coming down the trail for 10 minutes, mister. You just ain't hunting with that mask. Where do you figure you're going? I knew there'd be a guard posted somewhere around here. I was looking for you. Yeah, yeah. This mean anything to you? Maybe. Maybe not. But you ain't going back, friend. You're going with me. I'm taking this on Brienne. Keep your eyes open. Get going. We're going to fix you good. Yeah. <laughs> Who told you to let someone through the pass? Shut up. Where's one? In the cabin. Keep him covered. What do you do here? I told you to stay up at the pass. Spade and Molly are up there. Stop worrying. I got a masked hombre outside. Give me this ring to prove he's a friend of yours. How come he got it when you gave it to that woman on the stage? Maybe bring it back to me. How did he get here? Listen, things ain't right all the way down the line. First, Click Phillips don't show up like he's supposed to. Then his mask guy comes here with a ring. You think Phillips told him how to get here? We will see. We will see. Howdy, Bronco. I told you to keep him outside. You told me. <laughs> you told me. Uh, who are you? Yes. You tell nobody. Me. Nobody. I run this outfit. So this is the hombre who had my ring. <laughs> the poor lady on the coach. She's not very lucky today. <laughs> Tell me, why you steal the ring from her, senor? Why did you give it to her? I do not know. <laughs> Maybe I should have stolen it back. <laughs> I am crazy sometimes. <laughs> but we not worry. <laughs> you have stolen it for me. <laughs> Forget the ring. I like your mask. I like the way you come in here. How you find your way to this camp? I ran into Click Phillips. Why he not come with you? I told him I was looking for you. He said he'd be along shortly. You like to maybe join my gang, huh? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> you don't mind, Bronco. I figured it would get me in to see you. <laughs> you are bold. <laughs> I like that in my man. To be bold. <laughs> Who's the kid? Uh, he is one who is too smart for his own breeches. <laughs> I hope you are not too smart for yours, senor. We were just about to teach him that it does not pay to be too smart around here. <laughs> it's quite a whip you have there, Bronco. But I can see you're not too sure of it, are you? What do you mean, not sure of it? No wrist movement. It's, uh, it's rather poor. No suppleness in your forearm. You lack the strength when you make the snap. Is that so? I lack strength, huh? What is this, this word, suppleness? Ease of movement, Bronco. Ease of movement. You are so good, huh? I don't think you're very good. You gonna let him get away with that? We will see. <laughs> You have courage, senor, to talk to Juan Bronco like this. Maybe you prove you are a better man than Juan Bronco. Give me a chance. Sure, I give you a chance. <laughs> I let you use the rawhide whip on the boy. Then we see how good you are. That's what I've been waiting for you to say, Bronco. I don't like this. I not ask you. Ralph, untie the boy's feet and take him outside. <laughs> Here, take the whip. Maybe you're not so good. I used the whip on you. Huh? <laughs> How you like that, huh? Remember, I have the gun. Fair enough, Bronco. <laughs> We have 
other one, Sheriff. You shot the Mohawk again. Yeah, I know. You keep these men covered. If Victor had those star markings on his shoes, Dan, we'd never been able to follow your trail. Well, Sheriff. You all right, Chima Sammy? Yes, Tonto. Did you get the rest of them? We sure did. Bound and gagged. All right, men, tie up these crooks. Who must be the masked man the Indian told me about? That's right. Tonto, take Dan outside. I'll be right along. Well, this ought to take care of Bronco for good. If you need any help, I'll Thanks leave. just the same, stranger, but we'll finish it. One moment. This ring belonged to a young woman who was on the stagecoach this morning. Oh, yes, Mrs. Carver. We sure had you tied up with Bronco after she told the story of you stopping her. I guess you've done enough to prove yourself by now, though. Well, I'll be going, Sheriff. Adios. No, don't hit me. No. Sheriff! What you do here? I... Uh, who is the masked hombre? I didn't know myself until the Indian told me. The Indian? Who is the Indian? I... What is this? It's your finish, Bronco. You just bumped into the wrong man. He's the Lone Ranger. Oh, Silver! <laughs> 